Well, Diddy's lawyers say that the freak off parties never happened because the government didn't put that in the indictment meaning there's no evidence of it. But celebrities sure are getting mighty nervous. There are all kinds of names being thrown around over the weekend. Pink and Usher having their ex accounts wiped. Speculation rampant on who is involved in this. From Names from Oprah, J-Lo. The list goes on and on. So what can we expect? Well, former prosecutor Lionel joins us from the Lionel Nation channel on YouTube. So thank you for joining us. Let's start yep. just with that because because you and I both read the indictment and there were pictures of guns, but there was no other evidence to back up these sex parties and enslavement. So is there a chance that the government doesn't have it? Why would his lawyer say this? Well, there's a chance that they don't have it, but th this is an indictment and I read it and they refer to freak offs. You don't need pictures, but it's, it's, it's no, no. I mean, there's, they, they, they're alleging this. Let me jump to the point, Natalie. Not that that's not the point, but I always think like a lawyer and I sometimes drive people crazy when I say this. Here's my defense. If I represented Diddy, I go out there and I can see it. I'm saying, look, he's a dirtbag. I understand the guns, drugs. You may not like this, but welcome to Hollywood. Since the days of the Rat Pack, since the days of casting couches and Louis Mayer and, and uh, Charlie Chaplin and, and Hefner, let me tell you something right now. He never kept anybody against their will. He never threatened anybody. He had a list of people who wanted to be a part of his party and his entourage. This idea that he went out, he's not snapping anybody up. And one of the things that, believe it or not, they could have brought up in the case of that uh, Epstein feller that nobody wants to mention his name, it never yes, got to that point. Yes, we do want to mention his name. Mm -hmm. Well, we sometimes algorithms... Thread. Sometimes algorithms being what they are. Anyway, but but the point is, he's what we're talking about. He very well could have said, look, what I did was wrong, but but please, <clears throat> and I'm not suggesting I believe this, but don't suggest that I went out and grabbed people and pulled them in and threw them in the back of a white van. It doesn't work like that. There's not, and back to Diddy. Diddy could say there's not one woman, one person that ever could have just walked out the door. I don't want somebody there who well, doesn't want to be there. Yes, that's exactly what his lawyer told CNN the day after he was arrested, that he interviewed everyone who was at these freak off parties and it was all consensual. And therefore, it is limited to this group of, I guess they're calling them male prostitutes. And there was only one victim referred to in the indictment so right. nobody else so nothing else there is illegal so why then do you think that there's more there what what's under the trap door and by the way not only is, and you're correct about that uh, not only is there one victim but there are no co-defendants normally if you mm -hmm. look at like a like a, a mafia up oh, they've got loads of people left and right and names it's just it's just diddy i never knew he had that many nicknames so the indictment is just a cursory kind of an introductory thing. It's very, very open-ended. They can file a superseding indictment. They can clarify. They can add They can add more uh, charges and that sort of things. But what's very interesting is to me the political part of this. This thing where, where others are worried about this. You know, one of my favorites is Oprah. Oprah Winfrey is one of my favorite subjects because I don't believe for a moment... Well, they tell us she's a billionaire. I'd love to find out how that's even remotely possible. Mick Jagger's not a billionaire, but she is. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Look at all the people that she's been involved with. And I mean so closely, from Bill Cosby to Russell Simmons to Diddy to Harvey Weinstein. Isn't it interesting? Don't you think if you were at the height of her, and by the way, she's not been in any way criminally or civilly or any way implicated in this whatsoever. But she's always in these pictures. Don't you think, mm -hmm. Natalie, if you were at that level, somebody would have said to you, listen, can I talk to you? I'm in charge of your security. Don't go near him. He's charged, just like the people who never talked to Prince Andrew. Don't go, get, get out of here. These we, yes. we know all about these folks. It's, it's as though they feel that they are impenetrable. They don't have to follow the rules. You can't get me. I'm, I'm Oprah. I'm whoever I am. I am these people. Harvey Weinstein. The fact that they did this to Harvey Weinstein after he was so close with the Clintons and Hollywood and Washington. 
it's it's amazing how they turn on each other. One more name, which I still can't believe, which nobody really cares about, Alec Baldwin. I know it's a different issue, a different case, but do you think they would have brought Ron Howard or Martin Scorsese or Spielberg to, to trial if there was an accident on a movie set? Would those people know? Why do they turn on their own? So anyway, so that's a different that's a different issue. I believe that going back to Diddy, his lawyer should just be a little quiet. Don't tell anybody what you're going to do. Don't tell anybody what your plans are. Just say, we will address this uh, matter in a court of competent jurisdiction, and we don't do it in a court. That's it. To make people think like, wait a minute, this is, may, maybe they're working something out. But who are these people who all of a sudden now are freaking out? And why? Let me also suggest that it has been suggested that if you don't be surprised if you find out that maybe there were some cases of people whose names you don't know may have disappeared. You know, during these freak offs, when you have IVs and all this type of fluid replenishment and people can get hurt, people can overdose. We don't know really anything about that. This is very bare bones at this moment. But keep in mind what Diddy is thinking right now. He's in Brooklyn. He's sitting in this. He gets up at six in the morning. He's in a cell. And they say, quote, suicide watch. And that's a fancy way of saying anybody who's a celebrity and he might be a little bit not uh, used to this, as are most people. He realizes, I can't leave. I've been abandoned. Don't they know who I am? I'm Diddy. I'm it. And what do you think J-Lo's thinking? Don't you think they're going to be calling her and say, do you know anything about this? Not as a, as a potential defendant, J-Lo, but as a, as a witness, or have they already talked? Why would, they why would they issue or execute the search warrant and then wait so long to actually file charges? And what was Diddy doing in New York? It seems like he was doing it almost like he was trying to... to um, cooperate or thought he was there to help or something he almost seemed surprised and for him to go right. from a 20 i mean there, there's so much stuff that really it's not not really a legal issue but from a practical point of view i'm thinking i wonder what they told him is mm -hmm. wh whose side is he on yeah and so you know on the personal level i'm like what do i care if there's a corrupt industry and they're all doing these dark deeds uh but then it shows that the media that's put in front of me is a part of some sinister uh sex ring and i don't know what to trust and what not to so that's where i go into this dark deep hole where what can you trust to watch on television or listen it to the radio or anything like that so who's innocent was get and was getting hurt and who is complicit and all of these names that are thrown around over the last week that possibly either were good friends with him or associates or possibly involved, all of them seem to coalesce around getting Kamala Harris elected this weekend at a big celebrity well, party thrown by Oprah. So I ask myself, and maybe you have an opinion on this, what is the angle in bonding together like this around the Harris campaign at this juncture? Is there some kind of tactical advantage there? Well, a couple of things. First of all, he they are they are lefties and Democrats, and that's the way it goes. And there was a I remember there was a, I saw an old um, you know it's it's funny all of Diddy's interviews are available now and they seem so ominous. He was on with Conan, I saw one recently from oh, yes. I don't know what year you saw this one where he said, Yeah, yes. what you need you need is alcohols and you gotta lock the door and and, and make it and hot get, inside and, and, and yes. Make it hot so they sweat. Yeah. It's like he was and then he was he was on with uh uh Charlemagne the God Mike Tyson or oh, Yeah, but he was also talking yeah. about how we we've got to do, do the black agenda and how we've got to be a part. Listen, she, Kamala Harris has nothing to do with this, and he—that's—that's that's part of that lefty thing. What's interesting, though, is let's go to a couple of people: Usher and Bieber. These were people who were kids, boys, in some cases underage. Who are these parents who let their kids, quote, be adopted by him? This is the other part of it. I don't care about consenting adults up to a point. 
because a consenting mm -hmm. adult can withdraw consent and it becomes something far more serious. But this goes to show you this dark, dark, deep, dank, dangerous world of children and stars. And and the other and the, the, the ultimate issue is this is a federal case? I mean, with all due respect, federal? You think because federal Why do you means say that, that with such incredulousness? It shouldn't be? It should be state. California, Florida. Okay. Why normally federal courts say, nah, nah, that's not this. It's not big enough. Not big enough. Did he? Or they say he transported this is the old man act. Remember there they transported women across state borders for sexual why why the feds involved in what amounts to this guy with some women I, again i'm not trying to to blame but this is not you know you think of international terrorism and you know epstein a little bit different obviously bigger but so many questions about this. It's like, why? So what very quickly in conclusion, what his lawyer should be doing is saying nothing, get to the bottom of this. And I'm sure he's already said, what do you want? What, how has he fallen out of favor? Who is it exactly that you're looking for? If you were to throw him in prison for the rest of his life, nobody cares. The industry is not cleaned up. It's one person, one victim. It's not a series of, you know, record labels and ABC, and it's just one guy in his organization. What are you, what's this really about? Federal case of this? You know, Harvey Weinstein and others, it, it, it was local. I mean, you know, New York and, I mean, even even the, the, the Trump case, 34 counts, that's New York State. Why would, with all that the federal government has to deal with, why did he? What's going on? What's really behind it? And how many people are sweating and why? And what is it that they've made? What deal could he make? What could he say? Listen, I'll plead to something. I'll do a little bit, but you've got, because remember you do 85% of a sentence in federal court. So if you do 10, 20 years, that's a lot. What do you want from me? Why me? You've known who I was for years. What, what line did I traverse? When did I go too far? You sending a message? Question, 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 question. But go back to the other ones too. The young men. Now, not that I, I don't want to add any. This isn't homophobia, mind you. But we always talk about this is, this has a whole nother story when you talk about children and, or children that may be in the, in the recesses of the story, though not specifically mentioned in the indictment. So it's fascinating. Yeah. Now, is there a possibility that there is a thread to pull that does link this to Epstein? We don't know that yet, but I think you and I both have sources that know there are a lot of people who do want to uphold the law, that are working as prosecutors, and Epstein is the fish that got away. So is this an opportunity to keep the fish alive and get to something bigger? Well, there's two, there's, there's two industries that I believe are critical in our, in our world today, human trafficking and extortion. Now, what I want to know is simply this, Epstein is not as big as this. I know that may sound crazy to you. Hmm. That may be, I'll bet you there are a, a, a smaller number of people, a uh, bigger fish, by the way, who might've been involved with this, but this is a different story. This is drunken revelry, groups of people with phones and electronic devices. The question I have with both Diddy and Epstein, where, who has the devices? Who has the hard drives? Who has the pictures, the photos, the information of this? Who is this? If I have a veritable who's who, do you remember the, uh, the Hamptons white parties that he had? These uh, notorious um, uh, parties that Diddy had here in the Hamptons where he's, he is, is known to have said, all right, kids, time to let the kids go home. Now we're going to go crazy. Leonardo DiCaprio, a veritable who's who of people in the Hamptons. Who has what? Who has pictures? What? And finally, why? Can you please tell me why do celebrities do this? 
Why would they let themselves? No, I can't tell you that. <laughs> well, I want an answer. It's redacted. Red- no, no. But but I'm saying, um, I, I, I saw a picture of Brad Pitt. Remember Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt's by himself. I'm over here. Ben Affleck, I'm over here. Everybody else is over here. Everybody else says, here I am. Look at me. Come on, let's party. To Leonardo DiCaprio, all those boat photos. You know this world called yachting. This is a ray phrase that has been outed about. This is where very famous people, very, maybe B-listers, but somebody, are invited to go on in a yacht, maybe maybe uh, by a shake or some trillionaire. Oh, yes. yes. Out there yeah, see the and be seen. Sure. Well, but I'm saying, but they're out there in the, uh, in the in the international waters and just hang out with us. Lo and behold, you can come and perhaps uh, find your, make a new friend in this famous person. And they're called yachters, yachting. It is an absolute industry. That has always been thought of as being a, uh, a, a, a means of collecting extortion and blackmail. Come on out. Hi. Hello, a president, or it's not president, or or senator, someone. So, be a guest. Guess who's coming? Just a name. Think of some B list. Would you like to hang out with so and so? Hey, great. Go into this room, and I tick 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 tick, and I've got this. I've got you in international waters, theoretically. So I'm kind of off the hook, but all of this is recorded. I mean, okay, everything but is- let's pretend, though, that we're not talking about Hollywood for a second. And let's pretend that if you really want to make it as an accountant, you have to go mm-hmm. to sex parties in order to make it as an accountant. And what's illegal about that? And what could the government do to say this can't happen anymore? Now, everyone who wants to make it as an accountant has to do so on the up and up. Could we Abs- have a world in which that is the case for entertainment? Let's be utopic for a second. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with doing this. If you want to be if, a, a, accountancy, listen, we got a po- Christmas party. Come on, if you want to be a member of the book, absolutely not. That, that's not sex between consenting adults is not against the law, irrespective of the reason for it. How many times do people have sex with their boss to advance a career within, a, within, a, within a, a, an office? It's done forever. Or, or, or people who just, you know, suck up, not literally, but I mean, so that's, that's not the problem. What's interesting is that when you use this information to get, to, to threaten somebody, to coerce somebody, to have some type of an upper hold, that's extortion, that's blackmail, that's another story. If it involves the use of children, if you're trafficking children, that's another story as well. But as you said just now, and I said, you know, initially, if Diddy said, I plead guilty, I'm a player. So what? I never force anybody to do this. And I was, yeah, we had IV drugs. And you may not like my lifestyle. This may not be for you. But I've got a list of people begging. And as soon as this girl drops out, I've got another one to replace her. This isn't trafficking. This isn't coercion, fraud, abuse, neglect, or whatever. This is just me being Diddy. It's a sick world. And you're welcome to it. Yeah. Okay. That's a terrifying outcome though, to just say, (laughs) yeah, I did this, but it was all consensual and then he gets off. So, okay. Um, I mean, it is, you can sue your boss for forcing him to have, have sex in order for a promotion that, that is a a civil case. Right. You can do this. However, you, you can do it if you felt like you had to, you know, years ago, give an example. There was a case, um, we don't really have them anymore, but there was a, in the eighties or whatever, there was this groups of people who were swingers and mm-hmm. they'd go into a, like a Ramada in, you know, someplace and sure. And they tried to break it up until somebody said, what's the crime here? Is it assignation? What are they doing? What are they having sex? Okay. And they said, well, it, it seemed wrong. And then they said, my God, this is going on all the time. And the more they looked into it, it seemed as though there was something wrong with it. It's, it might be morally reprehensible, but there was nothing illegal about it. It was one of those things. That would, it, it's, it's one of those. I'll give you an example of one thing which I thought it's was It's unseemly. Very, uh, just, okay, but it's certainly, I mean, that's even more depressing, though, that these, uh, these artifacts of clear social decay are legal. Okay. No. 
in your opinion it is listen i don't want to be i don't want to be uh uh, uh okay listen, i think it's i think it's depressed i don't understand it what what i don't understand could fill libraries but i know what's done i think like a lawyer are you breaking the law are you breaking yeah. the law let me give you one more and one more i gotta throw this one at you there was a woman years ago who was uh she was a a uh a, not a, not a hooker not a prostitute but she was a a bondage mistress and to make a long story short she was uh found uh, dead or it was tragic okay so they were asking whether she was a prostitute and they said no because she was not involved in sexual intercourse or intromission she was involved basically in role play they said yes yeah. so people were coming over there and she was beating them with whips or whatever goes yes but that's not sexual they says well it was to them and they said yes but it's not it's not intercourse and people were going crazy there what do you mean it's not inter there's got to be something wrong with it that's depraved that's sad it's not illegal what if i paid you to be my friend Natalie, be my friend. Here's a hundred dollars. That's all I want. Be my friend. Now listen, if anybody asks you, you're my friend. How pathetic is that? Yes, it's not illegal. It's it's. There are things that you can do that really don't. There, there's nothing illegal about that. It may be strange. I'll go one step further. That second quote assassination attempt. It wasn't an assassination attempt. He he brought a gun to a thing and was thinking about it, but they didn't catch him doing anything. He was ready for it, and this drives people crazy. What if he changed his mind? The law says, is there a law? Did you violate it? <laughs> whether you like it or not, whether you think I come on to smoke, there's fire. And in this particular case with Diddy, what he may or may not have done, theoretically in some eyes, might not have been against the law. Okay, it's I mean, demented. that's why his lawyer continues to say there will be no plea. We will fight this in court and we will don't win. Don't say that. So, you should never uh, say that. You never, don't say that. Just say things like Well, he said it. it. He said it on CNN. So, you know, I mean, Indeed. we're talking about really brazen people here. Clearly, they feel free to have sex orgies and, uh, you know, sort of play, a, play their hand not close to the vest with federal prosecutors. I got to throw one more thing at you. I'm so sorry. Uh, but but okay. th 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 this one always killed me. Years ago, when I was a prosecutor, there was a if if you had less than twenty grams of marijuana on you, it was like a misdemeanor, like well, whatever it is. Now, if I went to you and I said, "Listen, I don't want to sell people drugs, but I want to sell people fake stuff, and I want to get stupid people to give up their money," if I say, "Hey, Natalie, want to buy some marijuana?" and it's oregano, it's not it's not marijuana. I'm not selling you marijuana. Guess what? It's a felony. I'm selling you counterfeit controlled substance. I'm selling you oregano for a felony, but if it was marijuana, it would be a misdemeanor. What does that mean? What? what, what? It, it, it is the most bizarre concept in the world. It's when people try to pass laws that kind of catch the idea of what. We had a statute years ago that tried to prevent women from standing on the corner prostitutes bothering neighbors by waving cars, dressed scantily, saying, hey, and people said, those are prostitutes. They passed a law that said, you can't wave at people dressed in Daisy Dukes. It was the most ridiculous, said, but we know what they're up to. It's like, but that's not against the law. Yeah, but but we don't want those people. Like, There's no law against that. You, I mean, I wish yeah. you could. So sometimes but what you're doing is telling me the law, right? When the last time again, because we're going to make a parallel with Epstein, last time we had a law against a big fish and that big fish was mysteriously disappeared. So I think what we're talking about is how did he should he get to trial, play his hand and whether or not did he will get to trial because of the people associated with him. So those are two different Absolutely. things that you and I are circling around. Yeah, so we're going to leave it there for today. You can find out more by following Lionel on Lionel Nation YouTube channel. Thank you for uh, this enlightening uh, analysis, <laughs> Lionel, as always. And, and sickening. <laughs> yes, that too. All right, thanks Artfully again. Artfully sickening. Thank you. If you suffer from daily pain, I need you to listen to this message very carefully. We, What we know about pain relief is changing forever. As we age, aches and pains are normal, and we're all searching for effective ways to relieve pain without side effects and addiction. Let's be frank. We've all seen the horrors of the opioid crisis. You may even be affected personally. 
Um, your family might know someone that has been affected by this. That's where a pioneering medical scientist comes in, Clint Winters. You may have seen the world-renowned health expert featured in the national media. He's unveiled a natural pain reliever that has taken the world by storm. And it's and I'm talking about canolidine, a 100% drug-free way to get full body pain relief without dangerous pills. As you read this right now, canolidine has become the go-to pain reliever for over a million Americans, hundreds of professional athletes, it was even named as the UFC's number one official pain reliever for the UFC. Right now, you guys can try it. Go to trycano.com slash redacted, and you're going to get it for less than $1 per day. You can access the only canolidine product in the world for less than $1 per day. Clint has provided this special link for you guys. You can guys get this special discount. Just go to trycano, C-O-N-O dot com slash redacted. I see a bunch of people in the chat who've already ordered this, um, give it a shot. If you suffer from chronic pain, you don't want to have that addiction from drugs, try Kano.com slash redacted, the 100% drug-free canolidine. Try it for less than $1 a day.